So I'm the uh, James E. Burgess Chair in Journalism Ethics um, and also the Director of the Center for Journalism Ethics. I've been involved with this center since it was founded um, when Professor Stephen Ward came here to serve as the chair. The idea for the center was bubbling in my head for years. Uh, and I was hired only as the Burgess Chair in the sense that no, there was no talk of, of a center. Uh, the mission of the center includes being a resource for journalists and others, but also it has a strong educational function. And um, we try to meet that first and foremost with the spring conference each year. It was, um, it was a long wish that uh, uh, my family is uh, involved in journalism for four generations, much of it in Wisconsin. And I, I could see that there is so much opportunity in journalism education these days uh, that it was a good place to put the money. Jim Boffman uh, w um, was the director of the School of Journalism when Jim Burgess made this gift. And so he, you know, developed the chair position. He searched for our founding uh, chair. Um, uh, Stephen Ward, and there was really no one who was putting more heart and soul into the idea of this ethics chair and this ethics center than Jim Boffman. So the first thing we did was, um, I think it was even before the first conference, we organized a roundtable about ethics for the new investigative newsroom um, and, and just brought together investigative journalists from Canada and the U.S. and sat around a table and tried to figure out what are the new rules going to be in this universe where, where um, in investigative journalism is done not necessarily within a new structure, but actually by centers who are dedicated to that. We have been truly uh, incredibly fortunate in terms of the number of, of uh, participants in the, in the conference who have done so at minimal cost, which again I think is a reflection not just of their understanding of the limited resources that, that uh, an entity like ours always faces, but how important and in, uh, the topics are and how engaged professionals and academics are in those topics. One of the things that I like to see the conferences do is that is that bridging um, between different groups of people. So it's so heartening when we held the uh, conference last year on truth and trust, for instance, we had this tremendous turnout of students, just citizens um, who were interested in the topic and working journalists. And the more we can do to promote conversations, I think the more we can do um, to, to encourage the kinds of practices that really do serve the public interest. I really think that this center has been instrumental in bringing the idea of ethics closer to the middle of the frame in journalism in this country. And this journalism school and others, I think, are the perfect match for that challenge to define uh, the kinds of ethical breaches and name them and designate them and measure them so that when journalists say, help me know what needs to be done, you have quantified it. At the center of journalism ethics, at that time and today, it's never been more important. And because uh, we simply are in a time of uh, radical uh, uh, fragmentation in journalism ethics. And when I look at journalism ethics today, one of the things that's absolutely critical to me is that we stop having these discussions about ethics only within journalism. So as I see the center grow over the next, say, five years, that's one thing I'd really like to see it do, have an impact beyond newsrooms um, and with you know these sort of bridges to the public so that people appreciate that ethics are for everybody who's a public communicator. Um, and and uh, th this university has credibility and that makes it a pretty darn good place to allow people to be part of a forum and, uh, and, and friendly arguments ad admit their mistakes. And I think just um, continuing to expand in the areas that we've just been talking about 
And uh, I see that happening. I see uh, the website becoming more uh, vibrant and update, updated all the time. I see uh, the conference being exciting each year. I see these new uh, fall programs that have been established. I see the continuation of the, of the um, uh, programs involving students that, that we've uh, developed. I just completed my second year as a fellow for the Center for Journalism Ethics. Um, as a fellow, I do a lot of different things. I produce content for the website uh, that entails talking to practicing journalists and also academics in the field about some of the research that they've done or the stories that they've worked on and learning about the different ethical decisions and challenges that they have in reporting their stories or in their research itself. Besides for helping me build out a network of practicing journalists, it's helped me learn more about some of the insides of the journalism industry. It's made me learn more about different challenges that people have when reporting in the field. Um, I feel like I'm a better reporter because of the fellowship, because I've talked to some of the best uh, reporters in the industry. Um, and the fellowship really has just been a, a great way to meet people and think about different challenges and different kinds of stories. I think the most important thing was knowing that this institution would continue to have a positive impact on journalism and democracy. Well, where's the perfect place to create that thinking and, and the ways of measuring? so that we know if you're trampling unreasonably or if it's a crisis. And I thought it was the journalism school at the University of Wisconsin. Still do.